and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Get pumped up, Brad. Today we're going to talk about how to look younger, improve balance and motion, 10 home exercises for 50 and over. The other thing we're going to say is you really we're going to use equipment that you can find in your own home. Right. You don't yeah. have to go out and purchase things. And this is a really nice program that's designed for you to function better on a daily basis from everything, house cleaning to hiking, you know, out in the woods or whatever you'd like to do. But it's going to help all these things, you know, settle right you in. increase your mobility. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you keep your balance. These there are you things go. that as you get older, um, you know, it, it can be a problem. So but if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain free. And we upload every day. Also, we want to join us on the social media channels. We're always giving away something. And right now, we're giving away the Thermatex Infrared Heating System. It's a platinum model. Right. This is fantastic. I'll tell you, as you get older, this is going to be your friend. Right. If you want, need a good hot pack, these are much better than it's your... It's more than, better than a regular hot pack. conventional so one. Go to bobandbrad.com and go to our giveaway section. It'll be there. Go to Facebook, Bob and Brad, and it'll be pinned to the top of the page. There you go. I got these exercises. I got to admit, I didn't make them all up. Oh, there a lot of them are quite similar to ones that we do promote and have in the past videos. Uh, but this was from a book right here. Nice book is called Dynamic Aging. Uh, the book is uh, written by Katie Bowman. Okay. She, she's a biomechanist and she's been teaching movement classes for years. And she has a number of students that have testimonials. And, and it's amazing their ages and what yeah, they're doing. And, and they look nice. Yeah. They, they look good. They, they do. They, they, they and they look, they, they look in their 70s. And well, well, exercise really is key. Right. You know, I mean, if you want to know what's going to help keep you look younger, it's going to be exercise right. and stretches. And she, she focuses a lot on posture. And right. posture is a major uh, benefit Component. in regards to how you look right. and how you move. So the book, if you want to go more details, it's written. It's really written nice so that you can read it easily. It's for the layperson. Uh, some yeah, people... I just looked at it. The diagrams are real nice, really easy to understand. Yep. So Okay, so here we go. We're going to start out with exercises. Now, you can do these exercises in bed if you feel like you can get down on the floor. On a carpeted floor would be fine. But on bed is just fine. Um, we're going to start with floor angels. Gotcha. Now, there's a couple options. You can just simply lay on your back. We'll get to the towel roll in just a second here. And you're going to put your hands up. Do you want to show them how it would look? Yeah. Okay. So looking from the top down, I'd look like this. And here you can simply go up. And down, and you're trying to keep your elbows on the bed or the right. floor. So they're not forward like this. You're trying right. to keep the elbows back and slide along right. the bed or floor. So that's really promoting that you're getting a stretch and you're in really good posture right. when you're doing this. And your neck is back, so obviously mm -hmm. that's in good posture too. If you can do this easily, then you can take a towel roll like this and put it right between your shoulder blades, and that's going to even promote a That'll better make posture. it even more difficult. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, so. if you got the flexibility, it's going to feel like a good stretch. And well, and conversely, Brad, you may have to start with a pillow underneath your head. If you're, right. If you're not that flexible, right. I mean, you maybe have to start with some type of Head Something, support. Yeah, head support, right. right. Towel roll, pillow, whatever it is. Because someone uh, who's tight, their elbows won't even come close to the bed yet. Right. Yeah. So that'll work. Something you can work on over time. That good point, Bob. The next one is I like. We we've been talking about this. Yeah, one we've for been years. talking about. You call it windshield wipers, don't you, Brad? Yeah, I do. So you bring your knees up, knees together, feet together in a relaxed position, and you simply go right to left. See so the hip comes up, so we're getting a little hip. Low back and thoracic stretch all at the same time. And with all these, you're going to remember to breathe. And you do five to ten of these. You go as far as you comfortably can. You're not going to stretch into any pain. Just a simple, maybe a stretch, a gentle if stretch. If it hurts one direction, don't work that one as much as work in the other non-painful direction. Right. Which uh, is very common. Very common. You and bet. we have a lot of back patients that, with back pain patients, start right. with this one. Because it's a nice, gentle exercise to stretch. Then you're going to take one foot at a time. You can leave the other leg up or down, depending on what's easier. You're going to grab your knee, pull your knee up to here. And if you can grab your foot 
You're going to grab your foot and pull the ankle up so the toes go up towards your knee or your nose. So you're getting an ankle stretch, knee, and a hip stretch. If you can't go that far, grab what you can and just get that stretch. I suspect a lot of people won't even be able to go that far, Brad. Right, right. Have to start off with, yeah. but you know, make that a goal. Yeah. But grab underneath the leg if you have to. If you get into trouble, you can always use a towel or a sheet. Right. That's not going to even work. Yeah. Anything. Here, this one. Right. There we go. So yeah, some people will yeah. benefit from this and make it easier so you can pull here and get to there. And you'll find out very quickly what we're talking about if, if you're in that situation. If you're in that, of that build. <laughs> okay. Now, the next thing is not on your bed, but in a chair. Now, these are all done in a firm chair, not a soft recliner or anything like that. Those chairs are uh, do not do you any good for posture. Um, so I want to get a firm chair. And the first one is simply finger range of motion. Very oh, wow. simple. One finger at a time, she recommends, which I like. You know, you can grab all at once, but I think the single uh, motion can we'll be have good. a little bit different effect. And right. As you get older, you know, if you start getting arthritis in the fingers, it's going to be good to keep yep. them stretched out. And I would not, in this situation, I would just stretch, hold for a second or two and relax and go through each finger and go through each hand. That's going to take a little bit. That'll yeah, take you a couple of minutes. And then work those fingers out a little bit. Okay. Now, this one edge of the chair, good posture, as tall yeah, as you can this get. This is really critical that you are in good posture. We yep. don't want you bent over and doing rotations. Right. That's actually going to be kind of maybe not harmful for your back, but not good for your back. Right, and you won't get as far either. Right. So as tall as you are able to get, and then you can use the armrests on the chair. That's helpful. You can reach back here, here. Try and keep your pelvis straight ahead, and then you look behind you, and shoulders rotate. Hold and relax. You're going to hold and relax. Do that five to ten times and make sure you go both directions. If it happens to create pain or any sharp pain, you don't want to do it. You may want to start really gently and over time you'll get that range of motion. My back just cracked, Brad. You got a nice crack, yeah, huh? There we go. Excellent. All right. The next one is, a, this one is a strengthening exercise. It's going to help you for getting up as well as balance. Getting good posture, feet out wide. You're going to lean forward. You can put your hands here if you need to and simply stand up nice and tall. And if you're really weak, you can actually push off the arms of the chair. I yep. mean, I mean Good point, Bob. With... Yep. And it all depends where you're at. So use the armrest, use your knees. If you're strong enough and to do this, that's the goal, is to go without any hands, you know, on your knees or the armrest. So whatever works best for you, 10 is a good number to go I've for. I've had people who are weak, Brad, that I actually had them do it off the edge of the corner of their bed. Oh, you sure. Because know, it's higher. Yep. And, and it's a way to start to go doing these and then work their way right. to the chair. Assuming so, you got a tall bed. Uh, right, <laughs> exactly. Because if you have <laughs> good point. You wouldn't oh, game okay. Much. The next one. Now, this is one that we normally, I normally don't teach people. I had not either. But I think it's, I think it's not a bad idea. You need a cushion or a soft carpet. You're going to take your toes and point them probably on the top wanna, of your probably toes. Probably want to hang on to something. Yeah, that's a probably, good idea. Probably, probably a chair because there you go. Seems and you can roll, but you know, I think it feels really good, Bob. Huh? You haven't done this before. I have not yeah. done this one. Yeah. I actually did this in a continuing ed class once. I did got mobilized this way by an instructor. Um, I mean, the only thing I've done, Brad, is actually I've done where I stretched my shins and I put my feet like this and went like this right. and stretched it you that get way. A similar stretch. A similar stretch. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got the feet and the yep. anterior. The next one. TLs. Just take a simple towel roll works good. I got two different sizes here. You're probably going to start with a small one. Um, we'll put that down. Get something to hold for balance. Put your forefoot on that towel and just step into it. Get your heel to touch. Let me get so you can see what you're doing. Got my fancy gargoyle socks on. Heel touches here. Argyle. R O Argyle. <laughs> I always like that gargoyle from that movie. I bet you do. Man. I bet you <laughs> and do. And then we stretch. There we go. And stretch. Now, this next part I really like. She's suggesting, and we've done this as well, and this is something that new, but get a tennis ball, a, a lacrosse, lacrosse ball. ball. Now, uh, some I got, people even use a golf ball. Sure, yep. Um, Any kind of ball. It depends on what's comfortable on your feet. This is one that's got the little uh, pointies on it, and it's a soft ball. It's kind of a kid's toy. Yeah. But I really like how it feels 
on my foot. You're going to go right under your forefoot. Great way to massage the bottom oh, of the foot. Oh, yeah. Now, this can be done in a seated, seated position. position. Yep. Sure, you don't sure. have to be standing if you feel more comfortable, uh, which a lot of people may. Yeah, a little more control. Yeah, especially starting out. What's nice is you keep the ball near your desk and or even by the TV, you right. know, and you can just slip your shoes off and roll it while yep. you're watching TV. Or... You can just tell it, it mobilizes, it gets a circulation going in your feet, which is really a critical thing for circulation. Yeah. Or, you know, in your feet, is circulation, especially Even neuropathy, for the older you could give it a shot. Uh, the more blood flow to the nerves, the better. So. And last but not least, this one makes a lot of sense to pretty much everyone, is a single leg balance. Now you want to go to the cupboard or a chair to hold on to something and simply stand on one leg and Start by going to one hand and see how you do. And the goal is to go for 30 seconds, okay? Or you can go to two hands and then you're, you know, make sure your hands are by if you need something to hold, something to grab. Or even better yet, if you're unstable, go to the cupboard, have a chair right behind you. Start out here, two hands, one hands, no hand. And if you need to lose your balance, then you can sit down safely in the chair. And we've made the suggestion in the past, Brad, if you want to incorporate it into your life, you can do it while you're brushing your teeth, you know, oh. hang on to, you know, yep. and, I mean, you're getting movement and you're starting to stand on one leg. That, so. Those are for those advanced people, you know, in this age group. So that's a good point, Bob. Okay. You, remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for. A broken heart. There you go. But we're working on it. Oh, on the other side, Bob. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thanks for watching.